Oh Josh, you don't need me to tell you what a disappointing night that was. It started so well, but it just felt like the performance tailed off after the first 10 minutes. Yeah, we, 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 um, we came out with a, uh, with a idea to put, on, put them on the back foot and try not to let them grow into the game. And um, it probably meant going a bit more direct for the first 10, 15 minutes playing their half, which was, we were getting some joy out of. But um, what proceeded was is unacceptable, really. And I don't really know how I can dress it up and, and put it nicely. And I have responsibility to come out here, and I'm, I'm not, definitely not going to throw teammates under the bus because what's said in the dressing room is said in the dressing room. But I think it's clear for everyone to see that the last two games haven't been acceptable, and it's as simple as that, isn't it? Um, there's not really a great deal of sale than that. And is it fair to say it's 1-0 over the two legs, but it could have been a lot worse, couldn't it, with the do dominance that they showed? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, they had the better chances, no two ways about it. Um, we probably had two saved off the line today, in, in terms of like us saving them off the line. Um, um, over two legs with against a, a team who, who, who have come up, done well, they're up for the fight. Over two legs, we haven't scored a goal and we haven't really look like threatening their goalie a great deal and as a team that is just well we're not going to win many games playing like that it's as simple as that um, we we are we are a resilient team in terms of we don't concede many goals and, and it's 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 fortunate because it's keeping us in games really and um, there's no two ways about it. we have to start putting chances away and, and looking like we're more going to be more ruthless in front of goal we, and that's that's a collective that's the whole team it's just something is just things just aren't clicking for us at that end of the pitch is it playing on your shoulders a bit because it felt like once they scored the penalty heads dropped yeah i think that's where you either become a player who's gonna have some longevity in your career and you stand up at times like that and you you almost want to be the one who makes a difference or you find it hard to galv uh, galvanize yourself and 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 uh, you kind of go into your shell and and ultimately, it's a lesson because you have to, you can't, you can't do that in this game. If you, because um, as soon as we concede a goal at the moment, it seems like a, we're, we're climbing a mountain, and it all comes down to belief and confidence. And and when things aren't going your way on the pitch, you have to find that in yourself. You have to do the basics well. You you have to learn yourself as a person to find out how you can keep your standards even when things aren't quite going for you. And and we do. We look a bit. We look very jaded, and we look. We look. It, I would say we look, we look timid at the moment, and it's. Um, we come off a good result against Solio. We should be. We should have been on. We should have been flying, and and, and I don't know. There's a there's an air of ne negativity in the, in the in the feeling of negativity in there, and it's and it is um it's crippling us. And speaking about air of negativity, the 300 fans that made the trip, they made their feelings known, didn't they? Particularly at full time. Rightly so. Rightly so. When. FA Cup's a, 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 a magical competition, isn't it? It's the old cliche, but over on a one-off, I would say it's, it's, um, it's, it's anyone's game. You'd like to think over two legs that the quality would, would come through in, um, in being the higher team, and, and they have every right to... to there's no, we've let them down, haven't, they, haven't we? Um, us as a group of, of men haven't delivered a performance club of our stature deserves and that falls on the players ultimately it's, it's our responsibility and you can't shy away from it you can you can sit here and we can sit here and protect each other and and try and look after each other and protect each other's feelings but it's it's going to be a long season if we do that forever and and that is the the be all and end all of it and sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind and and, and those 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 scenes after the game they're a wake-up call they really are they that should hurt. Like that hurts me. That, as as captain of that team, it hurts me and it it, it wounds me. And trust me, I don't think that you'll find anyone more disappointed than me this the, over these last two games. And um, it does. It hurts. That's like a knife in the in the chest. You know what I mean? Uh, but it, it's it's warranted. And we know if we give the fans something to support, they will get behind us. But we haven't really given them a great deal of support in the last in the last two games. And as you say, there are a few on the pitch arguments between players at the end, is that showing the fire or is that not having a belief in each other? Um, to be honest, I can't really comment. I, I, I didn't see it, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, so I don't, 
know really what, what happened at all to be honest so, but um, there's definitely a fire but it's, it's channeling, that, channeling that fire in, in, the, in the right way and, and you can either let frustration be like a pair of ch shackles on your legs or you can let it inspire you to do something and, and that's what we need to do we need to be inspired and when chances fall into us we need to be wanting to be the ones who make the difference and that's a collective and that is that is how you turn a season around one bit of passion one bit of heart to be grabbing the game by the scruff of the neck and be the one to make the difference and at the moment we we look timid and we look like we're just passing the buck a bit and and and, and um, I can't comment on the frustration because I, I didn't see it personally but I can understand why um, there's probably better ways of doing it than on a pitch but um, it's nice to see that people actually care because that is because you should care that I'm, I, to be honest Sheridan I'm a bit lost for words tonight it's a, it's a very hard interview to do and and I'm, I'm very very wounded by, by what's gone on the last two legs yeah, I won't keep much longer. I know it's really no, no, difficult. No, 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 and no, no, no. lastly, you've got to take it into Oldham. Yeah, we, well, it's it's um, it's a test of resilience, isn't it? It's uh, you can either lay down and become a someone who the game's just passed by, or you can stand up, accept what's been and gone, um, become a better person, become a better player from it, and go into the next game and say, "This is it. This is our turning point." and if you have the belief in yourself to do that, the belief in if we can if we get the belief in the group to do that, it's it's all it's it's what we need to do. There's no we can't. Well, there's no benefit for holding on tonight, is it? It's it is. It's done. Uh, it's really really bad in terms of what we've produced over the two games, and it's got to be the the the, the rock bottom which which we bounce back up up from. Uh, and I know that's a cliche, and there's not, to be honest, there's not really much I can say on it. It is, it is that simple. You have to, there has to become a point where you become a group who's, who's going to stand up, and or else it's going to be an extremely long season. And and we've got to be, we've got to start thinking positive into Saturday. We have to go and take it to all, and they're struggling in the league, league and cup are two different things. Definitely are. It's um, these games aren't always easy when teams come and sit behind the ball, and you have to break them down. But it's now a case of try and galvanise the group for Saturday, pick those heads up and um, be the one who, who leads the group by putting the shoulders back, taking the responsibility, taking the criticism and shielding, shielding the other boys and just taking the, taking the heat off them. It's the best I can. Thanks for your time, Justin, your honesty. Appreciate Cheers.